So Hanukkah is this coming Sunday night, and what is it about Hanukkah that it always falls out around the time of this week's Torah portion and the, and the, and the following two, where we discuss the story of Joseph? What's the connection between the two? So you know, Joseph briefly, his brothers make a wrong decision assuming he's trying to go after them, and they decide that they are going to uh, throw him to a pit, they were going to kill him. They said, no, don't kill him. Let's sell him to slavery, where Joseph has an arrival into Egypt and slowly but surely, this is very brief, becomes eventually the, the viceroy of Egypt. So what's the connection? The one beautiful explanation I heard was that what did Joseph represent? He was a Torah scholar. More than all the brothers, he was, his interest and level of study of Torah was, was at the highest levels. And when he was sent to Egypt, one of the most commendable things about Joseph was that he maintained his identity, was that he maintained his observance of the mitzvot, and he followed God's path, even amongst the decadent society that was existing in Egypt at that time. The immorality, he was able to maintain a holy stature. And this is the reason why it's connected with Hanukkah, is that the Assyrian Greeks during the time of Hanukkah didn't want to destroy us, they didn't want to kill us. Keep your temple, but tell you what you can't do. No study of Torah. No Brit Mila. You cannot observe the Shabbos. Don't do any acts that you're going to have any spiritual part of you. Because they realized if they could eradicate the spirituality of the Jewish person and the beliefs and the faith and the practice, that will destroy them. And Joseph, and that's the connection, that Joseph reminding us is that if he, Joseph would have been there and be like, yeah, I'm a good Jew, uh, I'll try to do my best, I'll be kind, he would have fallen prey to the society around them. But he was a Torah scholar. He studied Torah. And that's the reason why he was able to fight off the society. Now, we live here in America. Everything feels comfortable. Although there is growing anti-Semitism going throughout the world, and even in America. What we need to do is not just believe and feel, oh, we have a strong Jewish identity. I, uh, you know, I'm proud to be Jewish. But we need to turn that into action where we study Torah. Go to synagogues. Do things outwardly where we show people that we're not, not only are we not embarrassed to be Jewish, but we're proud. And we need to put those things into practice in order to continue to fight off the society around us and not be afraid of anything going on around us. Now, a small plug, this coming Tuesday night, we have our Jet Partners program. This is the men's week, um, and the week after that is for the women. We're going to have a special uh, barbecue smoked meats by uh, Baruch Shal sponsoring it. But more than that, it's Hanukkah, and it's an opportunity for us to come out. We can learn and show everyone, show the Greeks from back then that you not only did not destroy us, but we're thriving and stronger more than ever. And we're going to do that, strengthen ourselves, show our children the importance of Torah study and to, and to strengthen our Jewish faith and Jewish practice. And for many, many years to come, we're going to be stronger than ever. I wish everyone a Shabbat Shalom and a wonderful week.